Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2 non specifically. We're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week three. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to do this for all of the weeks. And then for like the last week, I'll probably try to do a overview of all of them. That way for the people that are coming in late could hopefully like just destroy all of them. But I do recommend you not to do that considering that like some of them are like time gated as in like oh only this week you can do it and then the next week so you might not be able to do like mayhem for like one of this one of the weeks unless all of all of that chain is still the same which hopefully that would be pretty cool but let's look at week three real quick contenders ascent which is just continue the story uh, each week you'll have a new thing to do for the week i'm pretty sure this week we just have to go to nessus and do another uh challengers proven thing uh i haven't done it obviously so we'll see golden reaper i already have this is just get cabal gold if you're playing this season this shouldn't be too hard because you get gold really fast just by playing the game captain's law clues uncovered leave no stone unturned aboard the glycon which is the exotic quest i haven't apparently i'm just missing three i don't even know which i'm missing but we'll get them we'll get there when we get there smash tribute chests and focus tier three umbral engrams this is not hard i've been doing this a bunch the only thing is i haven't done any in engrams focused just because i'm not doing the the activity that much just because i'm doing pretty much everything else but that fail safe forward on ss earn progress by completing bounties patrols public events and lost sectors this one's not going to be hard at all i think what was it last week we had the edz one which was it last week was it it was one of these weeks we had the yeah it should be this one nope this one either way we had one i just can't find it right now i know we had the the edz one not edz cosmodrome the cosmodrome we had one so either that or it was just a random bounty either way this one's not that hard uh just do bounties which failsafe has a fuck ton of them the only thing that is kind of fucked is that you i think she only has dailies at this point so this might take two days so just be aware of that challengers ap apogee ap epogee reach power level 1300 by earning power for words and prime engrams this one's not hard at all uh not hard at all like this one i just got just by playing the game algorithmic precision calibrate weapons with precision final blows on nessus this one's going to pair well with the fail safe forward so these two should be knocked out really fast defeat taken in combatant in gambit earn bonus progress for defeating the Africa bandits this one's not hard this one if you're doing the seasonal stuff like the vanguard crucible and gambit like i am this one's not going to be hard it depends how much points you get for each but either way you'll kill it not only that you'll be getting weapons that are specifically one weapon that most people want uh iron sharpens iron complete iron banner matches earn bonus progress for wins this one's not going to be hard i'm literally going to be playing iron banner after this video like a fuck ton because i want to get the new weapons and i want to review them and then challenge our foes which is just complete five playlist strikes which is not hard at all as well this one's probably i'm probably going to get this in the nightfall considering the swarm is up right now or at least it should be and that's pretty much it let me know your thoughts in the comments below i have a fuck ton of stuff to do today i will be doing the nightfalls later hopefully later not right now because i want to do the exotic quest because we got the catalyst today i have a lot of things planned i have weapon reviews for each of the playlists i was thinking about doing a guide for the dungeons considering we got uh reissued weapons i'm still thinking about doing that and it's just there's a bunch of stuff that is literally on my mind right now so that's why you guys haven't been seeing a lot of videos from me but again it's not because there's nothing to do it's just that there's so much to do that i have to plan everything correctly because i don't i don't want to just throw like throw everything out and just do that i'd rather take my time and actually make really good videos for you that for you guys especially the weapon reviews i think feel like the weapon reviews for me are like really important for me because those are basically the weapons that i'm telling you like in my opinion what are good and what are not so thank you guys for the patience the support it really blows me away that i'm almost at 1000 subscribers and yeah it's just humbling because like i literally started this channel like a year ago and 
I'm almost at a thousand, so that's pretty cool. I think so, at least. So be safe, guys. You know what's happening, old, and I'll see you guys later.